Hello, welcome to the course of standardization bodies. So today we are going to discuss about the ETSI body. So in this we, we are going to discuss about what is ETSI. Then we will discuss about the working areas of ETSI. Then their members, aim, SNP process and ETSI de deliverable type. So starting with the very first, let's discuss about what is ETSI. So here the ETSI stands for European Telecommunication Standards Institute. It is a non-profit organization and it establishes telecommunication standards for the Europe. So here the ETSI organization includes a journal assembly, a board, a technical organization and a sectorate. Here the ETSI headquarters is in Southern France and Sofia Antipoli. And here it produces global standards for ICT, including fixed, mobile, radio, converged, broadcast, and internet technology. So here its technical organization has primary responsibility for de uh, receiving standards. Here the ETSI work areas are, so the ETSI work field includes the aeronautical radio, API, and ATM, the electromagnetic compatibility at works for the electronic signatures, addressing and transport protocol, telecommunication management network and Tetra, VIP and XTSA. So these are the work area for the ETSI and it developed standard only for the Europe area. Next is the ETSI member. So here the ETSI has 800 members from 64 countries and 5 continents. Here the membership is open to any firm with an interest in European telecommunication. It includes manufacturers, network operators, administration, service provider and the research bodies and the users. Here its membership list include IBM Europe, Microsoft Europe, Hewlett Packard France, Motorola, Lucent Technologies and here each member pays an annual fees to join the ETSI. And the current associate member of ETSI are from Australia, Canada, USA, Brazil, South Africa, Egypt, Israel, Yemen, Qatar, UAE, Iran and the Taiwan, India, South Korea, Japan, Malaysia, Singapore and the Indonesia. So these are the associate member of ETSI. Next is the one of the most significant tasks of ETSI is that it creates the first GSM and UMTS standard. But the GSM standardization work was executed in various groups under the name of SMG that is Special Mobile Group and after that the 3GPV that is Third Generation Partnership Project has taken over almost all the area for the development of GSM and UMTS. But it was started in the ETSI that, uh, for, uh, that is the first, uh, first standardization of GSM and U UMTS was started in ETSI. And the second important task of ETSI was the acceptance of DVBH that is Digital Video Broadcasting Handheld. And here the aim of ETSI is to provide access to European market and to provide high quality standards with low time to market. So these are the two aim of ETSI. Next we are going to discuss about the SMP that is the ETSI standards making process. Here the SMP is used to identify a market need and to develop a compatible standards and technology. Here the process is based upon the real market need and the standardization of the respective solution based upon the democratic decision making. Here the participating members are ETSI, ETSI technical organization, ETSI members and ETSI national standards organization. And here the process is defined in the ETSI directives. Next here the uh, standard making process work include it firstly it identify a need for the standardization. After that it assigns a suitable technical committee for the standardization process. Then the standardization of the workflows and it uh, the identification and the definition of work is done then the approval and adoption of the developed work item is done and then drafting and editing of the content and lastly the actual publication of the 
of the standardization is done in ATSI. So here the work is done by applying high quality of work and content making sure the work advance on the time. Next is ETSI deliverable type. So here the ETSI deliverable type include European Standards Telecommunication Series that is EN, ETSI Standard known as ES, ETSI Guide EG, ETSI Special Report SR, ETSI Technical Specification TS, then ETSI Technical Report TR and ETSI Group Specification GS. Here the ETSI technical working procedure is like this, the draft specification that is approved and adopted by TC that uh, then here it is submitted to the e ETSI sectorate which publish the TS, TR or the SR. And here the draft that is approved by TC goes to membership approval procedure and which applies to e e ETSI guides and ETSI standards. And there are also one step approval procedure and the two step approval procedure that are utilized for the creation of European norms and European harmonized standards. So this is all about the ETSI. Thank you.